The fate of Cyprus and with it that of European financial markets is stuck in limbo tonight. After rejecting a controversial tax on individual bank savings, the island nation is now scrambling to find an alternate source of cash to stave off bankruptcy. As Stuart Greer reports, Cyprus isn't only running out of time, it's running out of options. With their tiny nation teetering on the brink of bankruptcy, anxious and angry Cypriots took to the streets as politicians struggled to cobble together a plan B to rescue the country's troubled banking sector. Undoubtedly, there will also be painful aspects to any decision taken, but the country must be saved. Cyprus has until Monday to raise 5.8 billion euros to qualify for a 10 billion euro lifeline. Earlier in the week, Parliament rejected a controversial 10% tax on savings deposits, but it was being urged to reconsider that and a plan to break up the country's second largest bank that is burdened with toxic Greek debt. Both of those ideas sparked fresh outrage. The haircut is unprecedented, it's outrageous, it's simple depositors. Our customers trusted us. With the doors to the country's banks remaining closed until Tuesday, commerce in this nation of under a million is slowly grinding to a halt. Businesses are being forced to turn customers away. They have no change. And many are no longer accepting credit or debit cards. People are running out of cash, says this shop owner. They're only buying the basics. Adding to the turmoil, bailout talks with Russia, which has 20 billion euros invested in Cyprus, broke down, dashing hopes of a rescue from Moscow. The European Central Bank said if Cyprus failed to raise new cash, it would cut off emergency support to its banks. That could trigger an economic collapse and an exit from the Eurozone. And if Cyprus economy, well, banking sector, which it calls defaults, I think it's going to trigger a very bad reaction for all of us in Europe and all over the world markets. But before any bailout rescue can take effect, the EU must first approve the Cypriot government's plan, which is certain to only add to the bitterness and hardship in another struggling corner of Europe. Stuart Greer, Global News, Prague.